Hi everyone, it's Brandon and James here. This Friday, October 11th is National Coming Out Day. And we just wanted to share a little bit of our perspective with you. I always say that life is a community event and I am a firm believer in that. I think that life is meant to be shared. We're meant to share our experiences with one another. We're meant to talk to each other about life, about this crazy <laughs> messed up thing that we all experience together. So um, I think that's especially true for private matters such as gender and sexuality. Um, I know it can be hard to find someone to talk to, but I think that it's so important. I remember as a youth feeling so alone and not really sure who to talk to about things. And I had such an internal personal struggle with my faith and thinking that God didn't want me to be gay. And it took me until I spoke with some, a few different pastors and some other church leaders um, about their own personal views on it for me to kind of start to understand and, and think differently than what I was just going through in my own head. And um, so I just wanted to encourage people today, especially LGBT uh, plus youth, to talk to someone about it, particularly an adult, I think. I think it's fine to talk to your friends about it too. That's certainly helpful, but I feel like a phone call to the Trevor Project or to a pastor or um, your school counselor or some kind of responsible adult whom you feel safe talking to. I think that getting their perspective on life matters uh, is really, really helpful and uh, certainly a positive thing to do. I wasn't met with a parade or a celebration for my friends or my family when I came out. Unfortunately, um, I didn't have the easiest time. And that's the story of most people. And we forget that because things have changed and people are getting more and more accepting. But the truth is, is that our home environments, our work environments, they're not yet safe places for us. And the reason that LGBTQ youth suicide is so high is because we haven't created safe environments yet and we need to continue to do that. You know, LGBT youth um, contemplate suicide at three times the rate of hetero youth. And uh, I think that this is one of the reasons that we really need to talk about um, sexuality and gender identity um, so that people don't have to feel alone about it. We know it's a really personal journey, but we hope you know very much that you are loved. We'll be waiting here with open arms to accept you just as you are, whenever you're ready. We love you.